Hello there. Welcome to Green Patch, home of Blinky Bill. I'm Mr Wombat, and this is my house. You'll find all sorts of games here. Oh, and if ever you need some help, just click on me. And can I suggest the first thing you do is click on the open book and enjoy the ghost cave story. Click on this and I'll read you a story. Blinky Bill and the gang were surprised to see Mr Rabbit sitting outside his burrow in his rocking chair. What are you doing out here, Mr Rabbit? asked Blinky. There's no room for me inside, said Mr Rabbit crossly. No room? I'll have a look, said Blinky, and he went in. Inside the burrow, it was a very tight fit. It's all these children, said Mrs Rabbit. Someone's always falling out of bed. Oops, there they go again. I know, said Blinky. We'll find you a new place to live. Next morning, Blinky and the gang went down to the lake. They were looking for somewhere for the rabbits to live. Everyone they met wanted to help find them a new home. Not far from the lake, they found a cave in the rocks. Hmm, do you think this'll do? Asked Splodge. It's awfully dark, said Nutsy, doubtfully, peering in. Come on, Marcia, have a look, said Blinky, tying a rope around Marcia's waist. It was very dark inside the cave, and Marcia hadn't gone far when she heard a groan. Help! Yelled Marcia. There's ghosts in here! Oh, don't be silly! Said Blinky. There's no such thing as ghosts! Despite Marcia's fears, Blinky told the rabbit family about the cave. And the next day the gang all helped the rabbits carry their furniture through the bush. Each little rabbit helped carry something. Mr. Rabbit carried his rocking chair. Mr. Rabbit was delighted with the cave. He took his chair inside and sat down to scrape the carrots for dinner. Mrs. Rabbit was sweeping the floor when she heard a groan. She asked. One of the rabbits went to the next cavern to investigate the noise. He was looking up at the stalactites when he heard a groan. Startled, he looked around and there he saw five sets of glowing eyes. He cried and ran away. The next day at sunset, Blinky found the rabbits camping down by the creek. Why aren't you in your new home? Asked Blinky. It's haunted, said Mr. Rabbit. A ghost stole my rocking chair. Extraordinary! This I gotta see! Exclaimed Blinky. Blinky crept into the cave. He was surprised to hear someone laughing. Ha! Fooled him properly, didn't we, Ma? Said a voice. Yeah, Danny, we did. Said someone else. Blinky crept nearer the big cavern, and there he saw the Dingo family. Ma Dingo was sitting in Mr. Rabbit's rocking chair. The next day, in Gloop's Cafe, Blinky told the gang what he'd seen. We've got to scare those dingoes away, he said. We've got to pretend to be ghosts ourselves. We'll trick them like they did the rabbits. That night, the gang dressed up as ghosts and went into the cave. They howled and rattled the rabbits' pots and pans and groaned loudly. Ooh. 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 
And the dingoes, frightened by their own trick, ran away. Extraordinary! Said Blinky. Well, wasn't that a great story? If you think you can do it, you can try the memory game by clicking on the book with question marks on it. Blinky Bill and the gang were surprised to see Mr. Rabbit sitting outside his burrow in his rocking chair. What are you doing out here, Mr. Rabbit? asked Blinky. There's no room for me inside, said Mr. Rabbit crossly. No room? I'll have a look, said Blinky, and he went in. Using the mouse, click around the page to find hidden surprises. To turn the page, move the pointer to the bottom right-hand corner of the page and click when you see the hand. Those poor rabbits. It must be uncomfortable for them inside. Is it tall enough for me, Blinky? Is it tall enough for me, Blinky? Inside the burrow, it was a very tight fit. It's all these children, said Mrs. Rabbit. Someone's always falling out of bed. Oops, there they go again. I know, said Blinky. We'll find you a new place to live. Mm-hmm. 
Hello, hello, hello. We need a much bigger place to live. Next morning, Blinky and the gang went down to the lake. They were looking for somewhere for the rabbits to live. Everyone they met wanted to help find them a new home. Would they like to live in a tree like me? I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's top to live on the hop. We won't find anything here. Boop, boop, boop. Would they wish to live boop, in a pond like fish? Boop, boop. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe the rabbits would like to live here. Would they like to live on a log like a frog? Probably not. <laughs> we must find somewhere that is best for the rabbits. There's gotta be a place that has enough space. from the lake, they found a cave in the rocks. Hmm, do you think this'll do? Asked Splodge. It's awfully dark, said Nutsy, doubtfully, peering in. Come on, Marcia, have a look, said Blinky, tying a rope around Marcia's waist. <laughs> You're the bravest, Marcia. I hope the rope is long enough. Come on, Marcia, have a look. Why is it always me that has to do these things? Hold on tight, Blinky. It was very dark inside the cave, and Marcia hadn't gone far when she heard a groan. Help! Yelled Marcia. There's ghosts in here! Oh, don't be silly! Said Blinky. There's no such thing as ghosts! Scared of Marcia? Are you sure it's safe, Blinky? I'm so scared.
I'm a stalactite, and I hang on tight to the ceiling. I'm a stalagmite. I sit on the floor and wonder if stalactite might fall on me. Despite Marsh's fears, Blinky told the rabbit family about the cave. And the next day the gang all helped the rabbits carry their furniture through the bush. Each little rabbit helped carry something. Mr. Rabbit carried his rocking chair. Hang on, gang! Oh, uh, wait for me! Come on, everyone! The cave's this way! Mr. Rabbit was delighted with the cave. He took his chair inside and sat down to scrape the carrots for dinner. Mrs. Rabbit was sweeping the floor when she heard a groan. What was that? She asked.
I love carrots. This is a great book. I thought I heard something. Wee! <laughs> Forks, knives, one of the rabbits went to the next cavern to investigate the noise. He was looking up at the stalactites when he heard a groan. Startled, he looked around, and there he saw five sets of glowing eyes. He cried and ran away. The next day at sunset, Blinky found the rabbits camping down by the creek. Why aren't you in your new home? Asked Blinky. It's haunted, said Mr. Rabbit. A ghost stole my rocking chair. Extraordinary! This I gotta see! Exclaimed Blinky. A ghost stole my rocking chair.
monkey crept into the cave. He was surprised to hear someone laughing. Ha! Fooled him properly, didn't we, Ma? Said a voice. Yeah, Danny, we did, said someone else. Blinky crept nearer the big cavern, and there he saw the Dingo family. Ma Dingo was sitting in Mr. Rabbit's rocking chair. Properly, didn't we, Ma? It's so damp in here. Ha! Filled them properly, didn't we, Ma? The next day, in Gloop's Cafe, Blinky told the gang what he'd seen. We've got to scare those dingoes away, he said. We've got to pretend to be ghosts ourselves. We'll trick them like they did the rabbits. Let Blinky up to now. Hello, hello, hello. This will scare them. <laughs> How can we be ghosts? Wow! <laughs> Nearly scared myself. <laughs> Hey Gloop, I'll have a scary soda. <laughs> that night, the gang dressed up as ghosts and went into the cave. They howled and rattled the rabbits' pots and pans and groaned loudly. <laughs> 
and the dingoes, frightened by their own trick, ran away. Extraordinary, said Blinky. Well, wasn't that a great story? If you think you can do it, you can try the memory game by clicking on the book with question marks on it. Click on any one of the objects surrounding Blinky to play the quiz. Click on Mr Wombat if you want to leave this page. Who are the characters in Blinky's gang? Using the mouse, click on the character you think is in Blinky's gang. And if they come to life, you found the right one. Blinky has five gang members. <laughs> that wasn't too hard. I'm Blinky, and of course I'm in my gang. <laughs> wow, you've made me come to life. I'm Nutsy, the cutest member of Blinky's gang. <laughs> A significantly good choice. I'm Flap, clearly the brains of the gang. Well, I am glad you chose me because I'm Massia, and I'm the only marsupial mouse in the gang. You guessed it, I'm Splodge, the biggest member of Blinky's gang. Well done. Now why don't you try another memory game? This sound is made by which of the animals on the screen? Using the mouse, click on the animal you think is correct. Here's the sound again. Good choice. Is exactly the sound a dingo makes. This sound is made by which of the animals on the screen? Good choice. Is exactly the sound a cockatoo makes. This sound is made by which of the animals on the screen? Good choice is exactly the sound a cicada makes. This sound is made by which of the animals on the screen? Good choice is exactly the sound a bush fly makes. This sound is made by which of the animals on the screen? Good choice is exactly the sound a kookaburra makes. Well done. Now why don't you try another memory game? The words on the bottom of the screen describe some of the things you can see. Using the mouse, can you click on all the words that describe things that have the colour green in them? Grass <laughs> Moss Hooray! Frog Yes, that's right. Leaves. Yes, that's right. Well done. Now why don't you try another memory game? Can you remember what moved on this page? Using the mouse, click on the words that describe the things that moved. Grass. Oh, <laughs> not that one. Try another. Flap. <laughs> Are you watching? Because here it goes again. There's got to be a place that has enough space. Spl Hooray! Are you watching? Because here it goes again. I think it's top to live on the hop. Frog. Yes, that's right. Are you watching? Because here it goes again. Would they like to live on a log like a frog? Lake. Oh, not that one. Try another. I. Are you watching? Because here it goes again. Well done. Now why don't you try another memory game? Choose a word that describes the story best of all for you. Fun. Scary. So you found the ghost cave story scary. You must have been given a fright. Well done.
Now, why don't you try another memory game? What are some of the sounds you heard while enjoying the story? Using the mouse, click and drag the sounds you heard and put them in the ear. Boop. Boop. Uh. Yes, you heard that one. Boop. Boop. Uh. Yes, you heard that one. Ooh. Boop. Boop. Uh. Yes, you heard that one. Boop. Boop. Uh. Yes, you heard that one. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Uh. Yes, you heard that one. Boop. Boop. Uh. Yes, you heard that one. Boop. Boop. Uh. Yes, you heard that one. Well done. Now why don't you try another memory game? Some of Blinky's friends have lost their name badges. Can you match the names below with the characters above? Use the mouse to click on a name badge and drag it onto its owner. Nutsy. I'm so glad you found my name. I'm Nutsy. Mr. Rabbit. Quite a good choice for I am Mr. Rabbit. Danny Dingo. Hey, cool choice. I'm Danny Dingo. Splodge. Uh, thanks. I've been looking for that. I'm Splodge. Well done. Now why don't you try another memory game? Most stories have a beginning, middle bits and an ending. Using the mouse, can you click and drag the puzzle pieces above and arrange them to tell the ghost cave story in its correct sequence? Blinky discovered that the dingoes had disguised themselves as ghosts to scare the rabbits. The cave was thought to be haunted. The rabbits were frightened away. Blinky's gang scared the dingoes away and the rabbits finally got their new home. Blinky's gang searched to find a bigger place for the rabbits to live. The rabbit family had no more room in their burrow. A cave was found for the rabbit family to move into. Yes, that's how the story was told. The rabbit family had no more room in their burrow. Blinky's gang searched to find a bigger place for the rabbits to live. A cave was found for the rabbit family to move into. The cave was thought to be haunted. The rabbits were frightened away. Blinky discovered that the dingoes had disguised themselves as ghosts to scare the rabbits. Blinky's gang scared the dingoes away and the rabbits finally got their new home. Well done. Now why don't you try another memory game? What animals can you see on the screen? Using the mouse, click on the names of the animals you can see. Dingo. Hooray! Frog. Hooray! Platypus. Yes, that's right. Numbat. Well done. Now why don't you try another memory game? Click on any one of the objects surrounding Blinky to play the quiz. Welcome back. Now, what would you like to do next? <sighs> All right now, is everyone comfortable? Because I'm about to show you some slides from my past. 
Now, let's see if I can make this old projector work. <sighs> now, who can recognise this little fellow? Oh, I don't believe it. Where did you get this? How embarrassing. It's, it's me. <laughs> yes, Flap, it is you. <laughs> As a very small baby platypus, not too long after you hatched from an egg. And you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> uh, now, this next one is another one of the gang as a baby, but you're going to have to look very closely to see if you can find him. That's Mum, isn't it? So, so the baby in Mum's pouch must be me! <laughs> Extraordinary! Well... I must say I was cute before I even knew it. <laughs> well, I think you looked gorgeous, Blinky. <laughs> yes, well, <clears throat> moving along. Now, the next one should be someone you may not have met before. One of the more secretive bush friends. And this fellow is known as a couscous. Oh, jeez, Mr Wombat, she looks so fluffy and white. You sure she's not related to a polar bear? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you should know that some humans thought the couscous was a monkey, but really it comes from the possum family, and they can be found living in the northern tropical rainforests, and this makes their colour even more mysterious. But... If you thought the couscous was white, I'll bet you never thought that echidnas could be white as well. Oh, you mean my cousins? I've never seen a white one. <laughs> oh, wow. Did it just see a ghost or something? Boy, <laughs> <laughs> it's the strangest thing I've ever seen. No, no, no. This chap was a friend of mine when I was a youngster. He was the life of my gang in those days. Every now and again, for no particular reason, a baby from a family is born with their skin coloured white, regardless of the colour of anyone else in their family. It's called being albino. Anyway, the next one is of a very cheeky fruit bat I once knew. Now, uh, he didn't want me to take this photo, and I caught him blowing me a raspberry. <laughs> You've got this one upside down, Wombo. Here, let me fix it. Uh, Blinky, I think you're wrong. All the bats I know always hang around this way. Don't you remember from the cave? Yeah, sure, Splodge. But it would be good to see his tongue poke out the right way up. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 so, so what, what do you think of that? <laughs> Blinky, that's enough. All right. I think I've fixed it. Wombo? Is, is that you as a baby? <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know how that one got in there, but yes, that is me when I was a mere pup of a wombat. Oh, and Blinky, don't call me Wombo. Now, where's the next slide? Well, 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 if it isn't Danny Dingo's dad. Now, there was one great dingo. He helped save quite a few lives in the great fire of 42. You know, I'm sure somewhere inside that scheming Danny Dingo, you'll find a heart of gold passed down from his dad. Now, the next slide should have you chuckling, because it's of a kangaroo that can climb trees. Kangaroos can't climb trees. <laughs> I guess there are still some things for you to learn, Blinky, because this is a tree kangaroo living up to its name. 
These agile fellows are found in the northern tropics and all the way into the highlands of New Guinea. And if you thought it was strange to see a kangaroo climbing a tree, then you'll be even more intrigued by the next slide. What has ears like a rabbit, a nose like an echidna, and a name like Blinkies? Oh, wow! Oh, what is it? Oh, look. This is the Bilby, a member of the Bandicoot family and a very graceful creature that lives in sandy burrows. Maybe this is why their ears resemble the rabbits. <laughs> now the next slide is for you, Splodge. It's your dad, when he was the boss of his clan. I, uh, I can't really remember if he was calling the gang over or if he was pointing at something. Looks to me like he's found a flea. <laughs> Oh, come on, Blinky, don't make fun of my dad. Now, now, you two quieten down, because we've come to the last slide, and it's a very impressive photograph of Gloop's great-great-granddad that no one has ever seen before. It can only be described as a work of art. <laughs> Where did you find that, Wombo? Gloop's great-great-granddad looks more like a dinosaur than an emu. <laughs> well, Blinky, I, uh, I had to hedge my bets on whether to show it in the first place. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my friends. It always makes an old wombat feel good to see his friends again. Oh, and Blinky, one last thing. Don't call me Wombo. Welcome back. Now, what would you like to do next? Welcome to the painting page. Using the mouse, click on a character to begin. Paint with the paintbrush tool and choose a colour from the palette. Click, hold and drag to move the scenery and other fun objects with the hand tool. Paint with the paintbrush tool and choose a colour from the palette. Welcome back. Now, what would you like to do next? Welcome to the puzzle page. Using the mouse, click on a character to begin. Can you put me back together? Mmm, <laughs> that's more like it. <laughs> Whoa, I've gone to pieces. Please put me together.
<sighs> it feels good to be whole again. Oh, I don't believe it. I've fallen apart again. Help me to become one again. <laughs> That's much better. Thanks. <laughs> Oh wow, this is worse than breaking a nail. Oh, what a day. Can you help me get back together? Oh, well, thanks. Now, let's see if I can stay together. <laughs> now, this is very uncool. I've been segmented. Can you fix this? Way cool. I'm one dingo to go. Oh, I've gone to pieces. Can you get me back together? To be a whole mouse again. <sighs> I've hopped myself into pieces. Can you put me back together? Oh, jeez, thanks. It feels good to be a complete kangaroo again. Oh, dear me. I need fixing. Can you put me back together? Well, thank you. I feel much better now. Can you reassemble me? I'm much more together now. Welcome back. Now, what would you like to do next? Well, thanks for dropping in. See you next time. Bye now. <laughs>